Guys, it's raining, wet, nasty. I got water puddles in the back and I have the Wendigo. Yeah, see these sand tires by Proline? You know what's gonna happen, right? You know this thing's fixing to get wet and I'm gonna water skip the heck out of it as best I can with the space I've got back there. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what's in the truck and we're gonna get right to the back. Take a look. Here it is right here. Big 3S Castle Monster X ESC. Got a Holmes Polar Pro 3500 KV. Got the Holmes SHV 500 V3 servo. It has a Reese sway bar in the back and the original sway bar that was in the back is in the front. So, yeah, oh, oh yeah, the obvious, right? The nice big Pro-Line Sam Pauls. Oh man, oh man. 2.8, I believe they are. So, okay, let's get this clean truck dirty. Still raining a little bit. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see if this thing can actually water skip. <laughs> this body sounds so horrible when it rolls over. Really bad. Sway bars are doing good. First water. <laughs> It turns really good with these tires. <laughs> oh, here's the big puddle. I really don't want to sink it because, well, I'd rather keep my GT5 receiver good. I'm going to try to come from the back side over here. Let's see if it has enough to stay on top. It may not. <laughs> It did, just enough, barely. <laughs> I don't get many water bashes. But when I do, <laughs> oh wow the dirt has run down and about covered all my rocks <laughs> nice easy roll there Beautiful. Yes, it is still raining and actually raining a little bit harder now than when I started. Oh, wow. It's got so much water. Oh! <laughs> Yes, the cord is unplugged. <laughs> These sand tires are doing good. Okay, breaking recording. It's really starting to come down now. I'm going to try to get one more skip while I'm heading back in. Beautiful. Once the rain settles, I'm going to go back out, but I also need to figure out a better way to secure my battery.
does not like to stay put. I've added a little bit of glue to the side of the receiver box. Man, this thing is nice. So the rain has let up a little bit. Oh man, I already flipped it. Try that again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking right there. <laughs> Kill that receiver. That's the stupidity that would do it. Still alive. Out of it. There it was. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm tempting fate here uh, <laughs> with this receiver, but let's just see if I can get up the slide. Oh, I'm in there, but I can't. I don't have the traction to get up the slide, up the tube. Man, no way. Oh, time to get wet myself. Up, 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 up. Oh, oh, is it gonna go? Slow. Slow. Easy. Easy. <laughs> epic. Epic. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. I don't even care if I don't get this slide. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. I did it. I can't believe it. That was epic. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Awesome. Oh, and there it goes. And here we are again. I'm not a big water guy. 
sometimes this is fun. Luckily for me, most of my stuff is clean. I think I'm finally starting to kill the battery a little bit. If there's one thing for sure, it's not overheating. <laughs> Okay, I'm going down the tube into the water. <laughs> oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> there we go. So guys, how epic was that? I did not plan to actually get it in the water, sink it, go under, but once I started and the GT5 receiver survived, well, I just had to keep going. So, the Holmes Hobby SHV500 V3 Servo survived great. The uh, Castle Monster XESC, boom, perfect. I do want to tell you guys, I sprayed it with this Cal RC Moose Slick before I went into the water. I've had this for several years. They've changed logos and all that. But in the middle, when it started raining and all that, I went back out there. Well, I blowed it off, hit it with this. Then went back out there again, did the same thing. And now this is actually the day after that I did the video as far as the recording and all that. I finally got everything edited and here I am. And I can already tell you it doesn't roll as smooth as it did. So what we're going to do we're go is we're going to have an experiment. I'm going to let this thing sit for about a week and then I'm going to open it up on camera and we'll see just how bad the water got into everything and how bad it is. See what bearings I have to change out and all of that. So basically it's just going to sit here and probably lock up. So anyway, when you do the water and stuff like that, you really got to maintain your vehicles. So you get in that water, take yourself apart, clean it out, regrease it. If not, you're going to end up like this right here, right now, and it's going to be a lot worse in one week. So anyway, check that description for links. I want to put links to calrc.com um, in case you want that stuff. I, I mean, it shines it up and look, makes it look beautiful, brand new. I mean... Hopefully I don't end up with rusty bolts. So far they actually look good. So that's a good sign for that. But yeah, there's something in there already not happy. I don't know if it's motor bearings, transmission bearings, or whatever. Anyway, we're going to find that out in a week. So check that description for affiliate links. Um, you know, eBay, Amazon, AMA. Make sure you check that. If you have something in your cart, come to one of my videos. Click the link. Go and check out with whatever you've got. It's that simple. As long as you use a link to get there, it all counts. Simple as that. So guys, hopefully you liked the video and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.